My name is uh, Yahya Makiran. I am uh, 46 years old and uh, I came from uh, Philippines. Before Islam, I cannot recall any incident in my life that I have followed Christ, the real Christ, the real Jesus, the son of Mary, who is a prophet of Allah. But uh, what I follow is the doctrine of the Catholic Church where I grew up. And I used to teach uh, children uh, about some basic belief of uh, the Roman Catholic Church. And uh, we belong to, as we say, some people who belong to church. My mother and uh, father were, were some, uh, they belong to the community of the church and my brother is a priest. We Filipinos, although we are short in height and small in the body structure, but we love boxing and basketball, as you know that. We have Mani Pacquiao. <laughs> we love uh, boxing. So my wife gave birth to my third son. Before I uh, let him to be baptized, uh, I was thinking of what name to give. So I uh, combined two names, the name of Shaquille O'Neal, which was in the peak of his career in Orlando Magic, and Patrick Ewing. So I named my son Shaquille Patrick. But three weeks before I took him to the church for baptism, I saw him boxing on the air. So I changed his name instead of Shaquille Patrick, I named it Muhammad Shaquille from the name of Muhammad Ali the Boxer. And then my wife, people are asking her, are you Muslims? She said, no, we're not Muslim. Why his name is Muhammad? So my wife asked me, who is Muhammad? I said, he's a boxer, Muhammad Ali. Uh, I kept asking one friend of mine, he said, Muhammad is a prophet. What, what is a prophet? It's not in the Bible. I don't know him. So what he did, he lent me a book. The title of that book is Muhammad in the Bible. That was written by uh, Abdul Ahad Dawood, who used to be a Presbyterian church bishop. He became a Muslim. So what I did, I took this book and I took my Bible, comparing whatever verses of the Bible that was mentioned in that book with my Bible. Because I have a doubt about this author. And maybe I'm just, he's just making up stories. So every verses that he mentioned in that book confirms my Bible. So I said, what is this? So I keep on reading that book and I stop believing that Jesus is God or a son of God. And I start to believe that Prophet Muhammad Wasallam is the last prophet that was sent by Allah. I was hesitating because my brother is a priest. I don't want to destroy his reputation. And I don't know how to pray because he told me when you, when you become Muslim, you have to pray five times a day. So I don't know how to pray. When my family <laughs> knew it, they want me to leave Islam. But uh, I just give them the choice. I told them, if you can promise me salvation on the day of judgment, I will leave Islam. They said, we can't promise you. So I said, Khalas, we have to look for our own salvation because in our grave, I will be alone. I will be buried alone. I will be resurrected alone. I will be alone in my grave. So I have to look for my own salvation. So I decided, Alhamdulillah. It was mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, that he said, Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But narrow is the gate that leads to life, and only a few find it. So be one of the few.